Hello and a very, very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're well. And welcome to the Monday Psychic Show. I'm your host, Phil Griggs, for the next hour to entertain you with the festive fun, to say the least. And, of course, things like uh, Mercury Retrograde, what's going on out there at the moment. And all those good things that we are so looking forward to, folks. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get on and have a, have a great, great show. Um, I'm also here working with you guys to look at, uh, uh, yeah, also here working with you guys to look at all the good things coming up over the next week or so. Even though we've got a Mercury retrograde, uh, does it really mean, does it really mean, guys, that uh, things are going to be uh, dodgy, dicey or uh, um, all things like that? Or is there a little bit of good news to come up? Well, we're soon going to be talking about this and putting all that good fun out there. And uh, But in the meantime, no, let's go and do a little bit of this and let's have some fun. Has your week been? Have you been well? And I uh, certainly hope you have been. Um, it, it's uh, definitely been a different time, is not it? A bit of a different time the way things go. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up already. I can see loads of those and so many of you lovely people coming in. Let, let's kind of have a look who's who's in the house. And uh, we have Matthew Green. <laughs> Matthew Green is in the army. So yes, yes, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Officer Dibble. <laughs> Do you remember that? Officer Dibble? Oh God, that goes back a few years. Uh, good evening to you, Matthew. Lovely to see you. Uh, Susanna, uh, she comes through and says, hi Phil. Hi Susanna. Hope you're very well. And uh, Anna Marie Castle, Mrs. Santa Man. She comes through as well. Lovely to see you. And I uh, hope you're having a very nice evening there. Okie dokie. And uh, Emma, Emma comes through. She says, uh, Hope you are. Um, I hope you are fruitful abundance. Well, thank you very much. Festive abundance, definitely. Let's go for a bit of that, shall we? Yes. Now, here is my lovely. Here's my lounge. Got my lounge. Yep. <laughs> you agree, don't you? Yeah. You say yeah, yeah, yeah. As if yes. And uh, it's, uh, it's it's a little fire burning in the background there because you know it gets a bit cold. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, uh, who else have we got here? Uh, Amri. Uh, Mr. Sentiment says, waiting for great news and fun. Thank you. OK, right. Well, there's definitely going to be some snow, but I think it's more down, down your way. Uh, let's see who else is here. We also got Deanne, who comes through from New York City. Hey, brilliant. Yes, lovely. All right. OK, let's go and have a look here and uh, let's go a little chat, shall we? Just going to have a little chat and see what's going on in the astrology forecast there, especially because it's uh, definitely a little bit of a interesting time and everybody's getting panicky panicky guys about this mercury retrograde and i've got to say to you here is it really going to be that bad is it mm, not so sure anyway let's give you guys a round of applause everyone who's joined in it's just great to see you <laughs> you lovely people you lovely people you look very festive and uh have you got your little hats on yet yeah, maybe, maybe not. And it is interesting as we draw closer and closer towards Christmas that um, sometimes we just uh, we just start mm -hmm. getting a fun. But I really think, and I really think here, guys, that uh, there's some stuff here we need to really sort out. I need to have words with you about this. And uh, tell me, tell me, guys, what you think about this. In fact, just as we're doing so, um, let's have a cup of coffee. Yeah, would you like some coffee? Just a coffee nut. Hopefully you've got some. Yes, it's, it's very nice. Anyway, right. Okay. So, yes, what am I going to word with you of people about it? Now, let me let me just have a few words here. This, this stuff about Santa Claus, yeah? Yeah? Well, what's all this male stuff all the time? Yeah? Male stuff. Father Christmas this, Father Christmas that. Where's the feminicity gone in, in our lives? Because I thought we were talking about equal sexes and things like this, yeah? Yeah, do you know what? Do you, do you agree? 
to agree about these equal sexes and things like this. And uh, Father Christmas has always been this man who slips down a chimney, empties his sacks, and uh, does all sorts of other funny things. I, mean, I remember years ago when my dad used to say to me, he says, let's go and leave some uh, mince pie out for Father Christmas. And uh, I was like, oh, great, fantastic. Hope he likes them. To come down in the morning and find half of it gone and totally believing, of course, he existed. I mean, how many of you guys still feel Father Christmas exists? Hmm? I mean, I'm one of them. He's out there. That guy's out there. However, it's just too sexist. Far too sexy. So I've been ranking the, I've been going through the universe, going through books of all sorts here, been going through encyclopedias, information, just trying to find out what can we do about this, about this sexism of just being Father Christmas. So, um, yes, went to all different places in the world last week, just trying to find out what we could do and come up with this great idea that yes, there can still be a Father Christmas, but also there's gonna be a female one as well. And uh, and going and just trying to get, of course, go to United Nations, just trying to get the right name for her and things like this. So we come up with a great name, Santa Boobs. Yes, the female version of Santa Claus is Santa Boobs. Do you like this? Do you like this or not? What, what do you think, guys? Do you, do you think this is this is pretty good? Okay, maybe, maybe not, or maybe this is just a load of... I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, great. All righty, all righty. Let's uh, go and see anybody else who's just come in the house. Uh, well, uh, Laura Watt says, hello, hello. Hi, Phil. I say, hi, Laura. I hope you're well. And uh, all of you have just got in there as well, just drunking in your... I can see your colour stuff there and your readings as well. So I'll be looking forward to do that in a little while. Um, in the meantime, though, let's go and uh, share the screen and find out what all this stuff is about regarding um, uh, Mercury Retrograde, which is coming up on the 13th of, of this month. And it lasts all the way through to the 1st of January. And uh, for some of you, you can actually think, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. That's it. You can't buy electrical goods. You can't do, you can't travel anywhere. You can't do this because you can expect disruption and all sorts. Aha, I have a theory. I have a theory. And let's uh, let's go and look at the chart here. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one completely. Hang on. I'll just get to the right one. There we go. There we go. This is what we wanted. Okay. So as you guys may be able to see here is... Um, me down the bottom left and the chart just up here brilliant if you can see that that's fantastic okay now right up at the 12 o'clock position uh we've got mercury at three degrees of capricorn can you see that mercury is in yellow so you know and uh that's going to travel on a little bit here um but one thing i'm looking at which i think is going to be very interesting is mercury's going to travel and let's see if i could do this here should be able to can i do this and uh, get this, uh, have I gone? No, it won't let me do it that way. I wonder if I, anyway, basically here, uh, it's gonna travel up to, for the next few days, so it's slowing down. We're in what we call the shadow period. The shadow period is where Mercury starts to slow down and we can all feel the effect of um, communication. Yeah, communication. People, people, situations, and everything going a little bit on the wonky side. Uh, is that a good uh, explanation here to think? Is that a, a positive? Um, well, yes, it, it does do this, doesn't it? And sometimes here we have to uh, doubly make sure that the communication we put across to people is, is understood. Sometimes there's disagreements and arguments, which, um, especially through a shadow period like this, it's interesting because I've got a theory, guys, that no matter what difficulties you think you're facing at the moment, there is good news on the horizon. Yeah, 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 I'm sure you're going to like a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, a little bit of it. And the reason being here, if you look at Mercury at the top of the 12 o'clock position, and then come down to Jupiter, which is at the 8 o'clock position, it's just about there. It looks like a, uh, partly like a number two with a bar going, going vertical through it. Now, Jupiter is a bringer of luck and opportunities and good things. And already Mercury is building what we call or forming a trine. And a trine of energy like this is fantastic. It's uh, Mercury, Jupiter, money, opportunities, luck, 
things that you think are going to go wrong suddenly have a twist and turn and they then start to go right. The good news is that um, from the 7th of this month, so where are we today? We're now on the 4th. So in three days time, Mercury is going to be in the orbit, exact orbit of um, Jupiter. They're both going to be roughly about six degrees. <coughs> and this will stay like this. This will stay like this for at least the next seven days. So theory one, even though Mercury is going retrograde, you're going to have you're going to have some good news here. There is going to be good news around. You just got to look for it here. It could be the abundance of friendship. It could be abundance of money. It could be some opportunities which are suddenly going to take up. And even though Mercury goes retrograde, there may be a twist of fate, but a twist of fate in your favour, which actually makes this or turns this into a very, very good month. And then I think you're going to find life getting a little bit better. And um, that's going to be interesting. Then Mercury goes retrograde all the way through to the end of the month. It uh, comes back out of Capricorn and goes into Sagittarius, the sign of travel. Um, and also then uh, it stays there for a little while, then it starts to go direct on the 1st of January. Now what we're going to look at here, and I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to write about it with the uh, forecast of which I put out on Facebook every day, um, is Mercury's position where it goes ping retrograde now. It's going to go backwards, then it's going to stop, and then it's going to go forwards. When it comes forwards again to this point in time, I would ask you guys, on around the 7th, look what's going on in your life. Look for the good stuff that's going on, the stuff you're hoping for, you would like to see happening. Maybe it gets delayed or blocked in some way. Maybe things get held back. But what I like to say to you here is, is coming back into January, and probably by about mid-January, Mercury will to return back to the same position, and Jupiter is, a, is slowing down to go, to go stationary before it goes direct. And these two will line back up. And my theory is, is that whatever abundance you're looking for now, you'll probably feel it, you'll see it, you can almost taste it, you can almost think here, well, this is just looks magic, but maybe there's a bit of twist and turn of fate that maybe delay things or um, maybe other things just preoccupy your mind for a little while, or everybody goes into the festive spirits and everything sort of comes to a halt. Needless to say, when Mercury comes back into this position, that's when I'd like you to watch for the good news coming up. And that's going to be around the middle of the month. I'll give the exact date as I look into this and uh, put it up through the show uh, next week. Uh, through, uh, yeah, on next week's show to give the exact date. And also I'll be writing about this today on the uh, forecast there. So hopefully you guys are going to like this and it should be a very, very interesting time indeed. Um, so that's that's one of the questions there. I like to say there. There's, there, there's obviously a lot of other stuff that's going to build up, but I would say here, it's probably not the easiest times at the moment. I can sympathise with everybody who's going through any kind of struggle. But um, when your January comes, January comes here. Jupiter's going to go direct. Mercury is going to line back up with Jupiter, plus a load of other planetary activity. We're going to start seeing some good news. What I'll be talking to you about next week, guys, is at Christmas. The do's and the don'ts. <laughs> the do's and the don'ts, especially on your Christmas day. The do's and the don'ts. How to have a brilliant Christmas and how to have a really good festive time without there being any major upsets or anything like this that Mercury can sometimes cause, which is just missed communication, misunderstanding of things. So we don't need any of that. We, we want to have a happy festive period and I'll be showing you guys and talk to you guys just how to do this. Alrighty, so um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Really interesting when you look at this astrology stuff here, because everybody would say here, "Oh God, Mercury retrograde over Christmas. It means our travel plans are going to be disrupted. It means every time you buy something, electoral is going to go wrong." No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It just means double check on things. Well, if you're going to meet up with people over the next sort of few weeks or so, just getting the misunderstandings out of the way by being very clear and very precise about what you want and what you're saying. Hopefully, then, that will help things out, yes, and uh, be good news. Let's just see everybody else who's, uh, who's coming in as well. Oh, my goodness, look at all you guys. Yes, and, uh, yep, I'll be, uh, uh, Santa says hello. Um, uh, 
there's some funny people coming through here oh my goodness um this is ashok ashok there's there's some very nice uh, very nice um nice to meet you uh this is interesting melissa won riddle one is this a, is this a football thing melissa won is this a draw <laughs> sorry it just sounds amusing sorry and uh and everybody else there right let's let's go and do a little bit of this this is um I thought to drop you in. If any of you uh, don't know me and uh, you come to this show, I'd just like to do a little bit of this and um, just a little Christmas jingle in the background as well. Okie dokie. music to that um the, a, a really good friend of mine called sammy hammy he uh, orchestrated that just for this show and uh, so i'm over the moon really pleased with that uh it's really nice of it really nice of it good 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 okie dokie right uh we're gonna do a little meditation on mercury retrograde and uh this may help you guys just how to handle things all right let me little listen to this hello and welcome to this week's power and positivity part of the Phil Riggs Monday Psychic Show. In this session, we're going to be working on how Mercury retrograde can affect us and how we can use a meditation session like this to help us deal with and overcome any stresses or strains that we might experience during a retrograde phase like this. For many people, people may find retrogrades, especially with Mercury, as being very frustrating, sometimes a lot of tension, sometimes some anxiety. Some people express this as a lot of noise in their head, too much overthinking perhaps. And also here, sometimes the more pressure we put against a Mercury retrograde, sometimes the worse the experience becomes. So in this session, we're going to be looking at how to manage this and bring calmness and positivity back into your life. Please don't listen to this recording if you're driving or operating any kind of machinery, as this session requires your full focused attention. Okay, just take a nice, big, deep, relaxing breath. A beautiful, relaxing breath and just experience that lovely fresh air just flowing into you right now. And with this lovely air, perhaps just experiencing being somewhere where you could find absolute tranquility. That's right, perhaps this is somewhere in a beautiful countryside or a rich country garden, or even by the seaside. Wherever this is, just allow yourself to be in this relaxing place and allowing your creative imagination just to help you experience this calmness. Just enjoy being there. Just notice the rich colors, the lovely fresh air. And maybe to experiencing this like on a warm sunny day. So noticing there too, the sunshine and the warmth just radiating down upon you without burning your skin. And then notice there the feeling of peace. As I was saying earlier, perhaps we could experience Mercury retrograde as being a time of frustration. So I'd like you to notice now, we're gonna slowly change the scene from being in this place of tranquility this place of calmness. I'd like you to notice you've just walked into a recording studio. 
That's right, where musical instruments are played and bands play and create tracks and music for albums and all sorts of things. But for you, you walked into this place and you'll notice you're at the control centre. And as you're sat down, just look at this control centre, you'll notice there there are two dials. One to the left and one to the right. With those dials there, you can see a display. And the display there shows the volume or the noise or the frequency of these two, the, these two knobs, these two points to be able to remotely can turn up or turn down. You'll notice there that one on the left says calmness, absolute calmness. The one on the right says stress and anxiety, overthinking, mental tension perhaps. And you notice there when you look at the dials, you'll see the one on the right which relates to stress. You'll see the meter there from zero to 10, maybe hovering around seven or eight. Maybe on some days it goes even higher. And you could notice there how this feels and just noticing there as you're holding on to the dials, you could feel this energy flowing through you of this anxiety, this stress, too much noise in your head. So what I'd like to do now is just notice that dial there and you're going to turn it down. Turn down the dial, turn down the noise, the stress, the anxiety, and just notice as you do, automatically you start to feel a little bit more at peace. The noise starts to slip away from your head. The overthinking starts to bring back calmness. And just turning that down, that's right. Notice there as you do, the one on the left says peace and tranquility. That's right, being back in your own power. And you can now turn this one up. Perhaps this is hovering around two or three. And we can turn this up and as you do so, this feeling flowing through your left arm and into your body is just restoring that calmness and Notice your breathing just slowing down and slowing down, slowing down as you restore this sense of positivity and calmness. That's right, just notice it flows through your mind, how this feels, this calmness is. And you could turn this up or turn it down, whatever you need. Sometimes we need a little bit of stress just to make sure we get things done in the time they need to be. We could turn it up a little bit on the right side, just to give you that extra sense of adrenaline. You'll notice there when you want the piece, you just turn up the left dial and turn down the right dial to find the balance you're looking for. So, there you have it. A way perhaps of dealing with stress and anxiety is just noticing this control panel and you have control by just simply turning up the left dial and seeing it going right up to seven, eight or nine with peace and turning down the right one. That's good, have a wonderful, wonderful day and enjoy this sense of tranquility. Take care now, in the meantime, back to the show with you, Phil. Hello, oh dear. Yes, isn't it interesting? You just turn the dials up, turn them down whichever way you want to go. You can see the one on the right, maybe is the stressor one, and just turning that one down and just turning up the piece and just getting that into your mind there. It's uh, get yourself into a relaxing state though before you do it. Um, but it's something you can do even on a day to day basis. Just slow down your breathing. All righty, 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 righty. In the meantime, guys, should we just go and do a little bit of this? I love my faithful boogler, uh, bugler, boogler, uh, bugler, bugler, every week he's there, blessed.consult. Okay, let's go do some readings. And first of all, here we've got Matthew Green. He says, it's me, reading please, General Blue. Okay, General Blue. Yes, you can tell he's in the army, General. Right, okay. 
Um, right, let's go and have a little look here. I, there's so many of you on tonight. I'm going to focus uh, on the tarot and doing a load of other things here to help you guys. Let's see what comes up. All right, so let's cut these into three piles. And I'm going to go for the left, middle and right. Let's go for the middle on this one there, Matthew, and see what comes up here. Very nice lady wants to come over to you here. Uh, she wants to give thanks to you. And she, um, uh, very, very nice lady. She's on your mother's side, your family. She also wants to let me know here she's sending you loads of love. She loved flowers in her life and something around the Christmas time relates to a birthday or a passing. She's just giving me this information. Also with this here, I get good news about money for you, sir. Good news about money. Yeah, you can look at your life at the moment and just think here, oh, where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Is it all going to work out well? Yes, yes, yes. We sometimes sat under the tree there thinking, when's life going to turn? Then suddenly... You're in your power, sir, when the Hierophant. You're in your power, and then you start to reap abundance. So the spirit world are talking to me, and the tarot cards speak the same language. You, sir, are on a good one. It's coming up. So Mercury retrograde is probably going to work in your favour. In fact, no, it will work in your favour. All righty. Um, uh, who else got now? Uh, we got Emma. Emma Moon comes up here. She says, uh, question, am I going to get off survival mode? Uh, the color pink, color pink here, of survival mode. Uh, you're going to change your thinking. You're going to change your thinking, young lady. Yes, I can, I can pick up this here. Um, what you're going to stop doing here is a uh, victim mode is what's keeping you in survival mode. It's thinking about things that hold you back all the time rather than stepping to opportunities and being around people who are super, uh, super confident, do well themselves. Um, also for yourself, put yourself in that place of how would it feel to be your future self in, say, uh, next week or two months time, um, seeing yourself in abundance, see yourself in a, in a good place. This is going to switch off quickly, this survival mode. Um, as soon as you put your, your real mindset into this, and this will work. If you need help with this, uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy helping people do this. So let's have a look at the cards. I'm going to go for the right on this and see what we've got here. Um, yes, I can see where well, what's happening here is is with survival mode, we're waiting for it to change. This is what the card is saying to me here. Um, you feel you're stuck in a situation which you can't get out of. And actually here, although this card is pretty grim and looks pretty grim with the uh, ten swords in this guy's back, it actually means the end of that time because you choose to. What changes you've got to make, what things you've got to do that brings you back power for yourself, even if this means you look after yourself more and uh, you focus on that. That's, that's going to be quite a big thing for you. And I think you'll enjoy it, though. Um, okie dokie 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 dokie. Hope that helps you out there. Right. Um, right. This is a long one. I've got to get through this. OK. Uh, I'll, I'll read it off the uh, script here. It looks easier. Right. Uh, Hi, Phil. Colour, sapphire blue. Will my career move be working with spirit? Blessings. Ah, lovely one. Will your, will your career move be working with spirit? I love this one. Um, right. This can do. This can do here. Uh, two things. Two things here. You will get jealousy. And uh, basically, I don't care if you get jealousy. In fact, I applaud it if you get jealousy because it means you're doing well. Um, the other part here that I pick up here too is uh, um, you're going to step away from people who not block you, not being rude to them, not anything like that, not block you as such. I think that there are people here who um, they see things their way, you see things your way, but they're just opinions if we get our drift here. And I think here, yeah, um, don't take too much advice of other people, but just go for what you want to do. And I think you could be a very popular lady in the in, in this spiritual work. And um, yeah, because you rise above and that's going to, um, as it always does here, unfortunately, in this business and others, as soon as you start doing really well, other people get jealous. And uh, that is something that's likely to going to happen, unfortunately. Um, let's go look at the left pile on this and just go and see where this is going to go. But I really feel you could do something. And ringing in my ears here for you is around the end of January coming into February. Uh, yeah, you're going to let go of people and you'll think it down. Am I doing the right thing? Am I am I am I upsetting everybody? Am I creating um, nonsense myself here? If you pay too much attention to this, you'll be stuck in it. And yet really here, and this is it's funny how this falls out the pack. Be your master. Be your master. Yeah, be your master. Or else we're, we're in these situations you feel you just cannot move from. 
and really you you really deserve to do well but give yourself make yourself the opportunities that you deserve this and really um go, go for it and she also says hope you're all feeling fabulous this evening i said i am actually it's a bit of chaos before this because murky retrograde's coming up but uh no it's all right now it's all right now so good <coughs> Uh, and okay, let me come down to Anna Marie Claire. She says, Here, eh, or Mrs. Santa Man, she says, The eh, color white, please. My finances, please. Okay, let's go look at finances. Um, so it's a, sometimes a funny thing, isn't it? Because uh, spiritual people aren't supposed to be asking for that finances, but yes, of course, you got to. It's a, it's, it's a life thing, isn't it? Uh, so um, I applaud you for asking like that because uh, a lot of people think you can't ask. Well, actually, you can. You can, and so I'm going to answer it for you. Um, you'll be, um, there's interesting here, i got two people here, two people in the spirit world, and they're both sort of dancing around me, but you'll be tipping between two points, they tell me here, tipping between two situations regarding finances, which you'll be thinking of doing, thinking of not doing, shall I do this, shall I do that? But they're saying to me, you'll be weighing up decisions here, which I think are going to be uh, quite important to you. And where that's going to go um and i think here if i look at the cards and say roughly what's going to happen here i think um right lovely 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 you have the most beautiful card here the pack i love this card some uh, um tarot readers don't like it i tend to like it i think here this is going to be a prominent time for you but you may make a major decision to bring a part of your life to a halt part of an area of your life to a halt to move on to something else it could be a home move i don't think it's going to be that but there's going to be a situation that's going to change your life a bit and i think here it'll do you good it'll do you good here so i think that power that power is sort of on your side there and finances will start to improve and i think it will take things you've got to change things and this is where you're going to be dancing between two points Shall I, shan't I? Um, all righty. So uh, just going down here. Just look. I hope I missed anybody out yet. No, no, I've got that. Got that right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, <laughs> Suzanne says no hats now. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, purple love work training. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can get here. Maybe to get something here on uh, one of them. Let's see how we do, Laura. Right. Okay. Um, I have. A very big gentleman here who's come through from the spirit world wanted to make his impression on me straight away. Love his nature, love his energy. He was a very, um, uh, he would either get involved with people who he completely step away as he describes this here. Um, and sometimes he'd be a, an energy that just roars in like a wave and then he just goes quiet. That's sometimes his nature, the way he's describing himself to be here. Um, he's been on the other side here for quite a while. And his message to you here is, is that um, if you look at the work site here, this is you working for other people, I get the feeling here, rather than working for yourself. And it's almost like you're building into a team of some kind. And uh, this, this, this looks quite good. Um, that seems to go very, very well. On your love life site here, um, I think it is, uh, it's interesting, there's a, um, a, a situation which I think has been going on around you for a while uh, that you're not too sure of, really. Not too sure of, and you're sort of wondering where things are going to go, what's going to happen. Um, and it's because of some other circumstances in your life that's going on, which is why this is limiting you, which is holding you back. It's almost like you're, yeah, still waiting to get life into a personal balance yourself before you can feel absolutely free to love. Um, but I get a feeling, though, um, I would... Um, keep a smiley face, keep your um, heart shining love and uh, doing all good things here. But I, I feel here, now if I look at the cards, and let, let's go for these ones on this one, and let's go and see where this goes. Um, I get a feeling here by these cards here, um, it's, it, you may well actually go into going for work thing, and then start thinking, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Where should I be going to? What should I do? How am I gonna go about this? Give yourself time. Mercury retrograde season. And in this time here, things could look fabulous or seem fabulous. But maybe you're going to wait until the new year before you can actually make some good decisions then. And I think that'd be a very good idea. So hopefully that helps there. All righty. Right. Uh, then we come down to 
Um, let's go down to Claire. And Claire says, kind of a reading, colour red. And uh, she's general as always. Uh, love the festive background. Yeah, yeah, try to get festive. Uh, I, I keep trying to pull that uh, that band down there. It's undo the knots to see everything falls down. I won't do that. No. <laughs> All right. Um, slurp of coffee. All righty, all right, all righty. Let's let's go for a little bit of this here. So, um, Claire, clever, a bit colour red as well. Um, I'm, I get a feeling here to say to you that um, uh, for a little bit of this retrograde period for you, we'll just be very quiet. It's not going to be very noisy. Uh, uh, I don't think it's going to be so stressy as such. I think it's going to be a little on the quiet side. I think romantically, I think you're going to be a little bit on the surprise side. I think, oh, this is nice. Um, some good news there. I also get a feeling like a little trip away. Something's going to be happening there, which I think we, you will enjoy too. And uh, let's just go on here and just see how this, how this patterns out for you, plays out for you here. Right. Okay. Let's go and look at the left on this. Um, but uh, it's it's nice though. Just get a nice feeling, and let's see how the cards pick up the energy here. Um, you're still going to be. <laughs> You are, you are going away somewhere. Very, very nice. And you're going to think before this happens, because it's very quiet, nothing much is going to be on the cards for you. You'll be very wrong. <laughs> What's going to be right is, is I feel you'll be going for a nice trip away somewhere. I think uh, you will be. And I think you've got a bit of a, okay, or right, a bit daring saying this, a bit of a knight in shining armour wants to uh, make a bit of a fuss of you. So, uh Good news on that one. I think I think you need a little bit of this for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's wild. That is, isn't it? That is so festively wild. Yeah. Anyway, alrighty. Let's let's come down here and uh, let's see who's next. Okay, Melissa. I love this one. Melissa won riddle one. Okay, I'd still get the feel of football results. Leeds Town one, Manchester United three. Riddle one. Melissa won. You're on the score draws there. It just looks funny. Sorry, you're probably there going, I'm not putting up with this. I'm hanging up. No, no, please don't go. Right. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. Uh, okay, what do I need to say to you here? Uh, three opportunities of good luck are going to come your way here. At least one of them is a nice gesture that gets passed your way. The other two I'm not sure, but three bits of very good luck here coming your way. I also pick up here too. There's a gentleman who just wants to leap up here really want to say that he's really happy he's uh i get a feeling he's on your father's side rather than your mother's side here but he just tells me here i am so happy to come across very lively um very energetic and um he also wants to say to be had very straight hair brownish hair when he was a bit on the younger side and uh i also get a feeling with him as well he's um he's a grandfather or very close to this but uh, he, he's full of laughter full of laughter for you and um he also wants to say here, he said, oh, there may have been a wheelchair somewhere. It's just going to be a wheelchair as well. Right. Um, and his message to you as he comes across here to you to say um, where love is concerned, he, he would like to say here. <laughs> oh, God, I'll put this across. Right. He wants you to say to you here, uh, let them chase you a little bit. Would you understand here? And don't say to me here, but I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, no, no, no. Just... Uh, be engaging, be nice, be friendly, do all good things and things like that. But what I pick up here, which I think is going to be interesting for you, and it's probably going to help you quite a lot, is uh, I get a feeling you're going to like and you're going to feel very vibey, very positive about so many good things coming up for you romantically that uh, it will be OK. And I feel here, too, you've got a gentleman from the past coming back to you. Um, and don't mean to say you're going into a relationship with them. But I also pick up here, you will find love all right. And you'll be very happy. It's not going to be far away the way he talks to me here. And, um, and with this also comes money. Uh, uh, there will be a gentleman who uh, doesn't need anybody to look after him, so to speak. He, uh, he's got his own job, but he does well. And, uh, and I pick up here a very good vibration, that Melissa. So good luck on that. Let's go for the middle pile on this and see what comes up. Right. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. King of Cups, love. Love is coming. Um, there may be an old relationship or something that you've been in that seems to have walked away or something's uh, have to have walked away here. But don't, 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 don't give up on love for you. No, Melissa, no. There is no riddle to this. Or if there is a riddle, the riddle is um, keep going. <laughs> That's the riddle. Alrighty, so hopefully that helps.
Uh, Santa comes through. Says general reading, please, Phil. Color yellow. Alrighty, let's ha let's have a look. Okay, uh, color yellow, color yellow. Where are we going with this? Um, I would like to say to you here. I feel here. Just be careful of your chest. Uh, I get something about chest infections, things like this. I also pick up here to say to you that um, uh, there's going to be uh, someone's going to need your help. Very much need your help here. Yes, it's good to help. The problem here, though, that I hear is for you, Melissa, uh, sorry, um, uh, Sana, is to just say to you, um, just be careful what you're getting into. Uh, it could be a bit too, bit too long, a bit too long-winded. And I think sometimes you feel, you don't want to be put into a position where you feel guilty about what you're doing. You really do need a good break. So, so good news on that part there. All righty, let's have a look and see what the cards are going to say here too. Uh, I get a feeling here. In fact, oh, I've been told to go for the right ones. The right, because it's the right way to go. All righty, let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going <laughs> to. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Queen of Cups, you're going to be in love. You're going to be very happy about what you're doing. Do take care of your hair a little bit with the Page of Swords, and this does rule for me a little bit through the chest. But you are going to be in abundance, young lady. You are going to be a very, very happy soul. So choosing the right pile there was definitely good for you. So I think um, you're going to have some wonderful opportunities. Plus, uh, I think romance is going to be a very big thing for you, uh, not just over Christmas, but for next year. Fantastic. All right, good. Um, uh, yes, 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 yes. Right, okay, interesting question, this. Ashok Chabra, uh, Ashok, uh, very, nice, very nice to meet you, Ashok. Um, can I have, uh, can I balance my work and home life better? Color blue. Um, right, okay. Uh, I think you've been doing the best you can so far. Would you understand though that sometimes it doesn't always meet to everyone else's requirements? Uh, and there's, uh, so there's a need of fair fare on almost all fronts here, all fronts. <coughs> I'm just gonna have a little slap of this. And what the energies are really pointing out to me to say here for you is don't um, don't don't feel here that you've got to overdo things. So you're the one who stresses. You're the one who strains by trying to do everything. Um, the only problem is I see for you here is coming up through next year um, will be more demand work wise, but more success, more money and you doing better, doing even better than what you've done so far. So. I think this is going to be very impressive for you. This is going to be something to make you feel like, yay, I'm rocking it. I'm doing very well. Let's just kind of have a little look here and see what the cards are saying. Uh, ooh, sorry. And let's have a little look there. Uh, the cards here, if I go for, let's go for the middle pile on this. I feel strongly drawn to that. So are you going to find the balance here? You're going to find this. Um, just keep your patience. Keep your patience here. Just, whoa, just keep working towards this. Um, I can see you worried about money, like, well, if you do too much of this, you're going to lose out on the money. Um, but work is going to be a priority for you. This is the problem. Um, but at the end here, if the dividends are there for you, then things will work out better. And I think here that you will find yourself being in a, a far better place if you were to do that. So I think that that's going to be something here um, that's going to help you a lot. And I think if that was to happen, You'll be in a you'll be a very very uh, happy man indeed, Ashok. All right, <coughs> let's uh, cruise on down the line. Let's go and have um, a Chris boy. He says hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hope you're well out there. Uh, keep you warm. Um, natural magic. I I love I love the names like this. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna read you another one. Come up in a minute from a guy called Matrix. Matrix, what he's what he's saying, um, right? Natural magic. Um, I built green, please. Let's let's kind of have a look here. Green, green. Um, right. Uh, would you would you understand here that mentally you are changing, you are evolving? Natural magic, you are changing, evolving, doing uh, do wonderful things inside yourself. But it almost feels at times you'd understand this that the earth and the world and the world and your mind and your um and the world out there so to speak isn't working the same way as you are uh no it's not it's almost like well i'm changing where's the world changing with me it's not doing it yet 
it is coming, it is coming here. And I like to say here that don't give up on something that you started now, because sometimes they you think, oh God, have I done the wrong thing or not? Now, actually, you're doing all right. So you go right here. And I've also got uh, a lady, uh, um, a very, very nice lady who wants to tell me there's a lady you would love to speak to at some point here who's on a mother's side of your family. She's not coming through, but a sister is. There's, there's a sister here, and she's saying here that all is well in the spirit world there, and a lady who is very close to you, who passed away very, um, not very well at all, needs a lot of healing in the spirit world. And But I know they're there, but I'm just being shown here. This lovely lady is coming through. It may have a big S to do with their name somewhere. I guess. And uh, no, I'm going to say somewhere. I mean the start of the Christian surname. And I'm picking up here too to say to you that... Uh, Keep on, keep on, um, keep on going here. Keep on going. I know you get disappointed by things and disillusioned, but but don't, don't. Um, I'm going to go here. Let's go for the left on this because you left the past behind. <laughs> he dropped the cards. Oops. Right. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look here. You've got travel. You've definitely got travel. You've got a lot of changes coming into your life. It's going to, your thing is going to help you to find the way you're going. It will do. What you've got to open the door is open the doors of change to allow yourself to step into uh, the world of abundance that you want it to be rather than hesitating and hold yourself back. Um, thinking, it's, what's it like outside the box? Go and find out. Go and find out. It's the best way to go and do it. Um, Marnix says here, he's watching a show from the tractor. How absolutely fabulous. What, what can I say? Um, have, a, have a horn. Yes, this is tractor horn, I think. And uh, in fact, somewhere down here on the other computer, I've actually got his. Uh, no, I can't find it though, actually. But uh, yeah, it's not on this one. It's on the other one. Is the sound of tractors? But uh, I know he'd love that. I oh, like it be in heaven. Um, he sleeps in his tractor too. He loves it. They're in love so much. Okay, Erica. Erica comes and uh, uh, just uh, yes, Erica Warmers. General color purple. General color purple. Thank you very much. I, I lucky I could read. That that there is Belgium, by the way. That's a, that I hang you using your name when you go. Yeah, it means thank you very much in Belgium, right? Uh, Flemish, so I say yes, right? Color purple. What do I need to say to you here? Okay, um, keep happy, keep very happy. Yes, um, your stressor here is is being there, 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 and there. Yep, I think you understand this. That's your stressor. What I'm picking up here to say to you is organization around you is going to be absolutely like tip top. With the Mercury retrograde, make sure everybody gets the memo, everybody gets the email, every gets the letter, and everybody gets the conversation with you of how Christmas, the festive period, is going to run. Because you're not going to hold on the, uh, your temper. <laughs> Should, can I say temper? Uh, your anxiety side will sometimes be going, oh my God, uh, will be blown through the roof if sometimes you think communication lapses. Um, but I think hey, you're going to be all right. And also, um, you'll be very happy. Well, you've been very happy with all your children. But I think you're going to be particularly happy with some very good news that's coming up with some of your children. So that looks, I think the festive period is going to be a, a highlight there and one of your children who may have failed at something but i don't like saying the word failure who tried to do something but didn't work out will probably go back again do something and this time they'll do well yes um you're gonna have a nice time over christmas you have a very nice time it's all go 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 and uh what I like here is, is I get a feeling that your partner will be feeling like he's the king of Egypt, just about. You know what pharaohs are like. Um, he'll be feeling very, very good. I also get a feeling here that you'll be in a very strong power position. It's just busy. It's just going to be so busy around you. And that's going to be your the area to take care of a little bit. Um, all righty. Right. Uh, Charlie Bear says... Uh, Okay, Charlie. Hello, Charlie Bear. This is very nice. Um, and any messages uh, from Mam, please, for 2024. Okay, if I was to speak to, I'd speak to two ladies, not just one lady. Um, I've got, and I've also got a spirit guide as well. You're to listen to your psychic self because the messages coming through uh, from the women coming through around you is to say you're doing fine. 
Uh, watch hot water bottles. Sorry, but if one explodes and it soaks the bed, it's nightmare. Well, I'm just hearing this, hearing this here. I'm also hearing here as well to say to you, um, there's some truths that need to be said, Charlie. Things need to be said, she says here. And she's telling me here to be brave. And she says here, and don't try to kid yourself, she says here. Don't try to think things are okay just because they are. She's she's telling me here just to be, for you to be strong. And I think here, um, you'll be happy you did this here. Um, the tension you feel at the moment about this or any anxiety you feel about this won't be long before it slips away and it, 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 the pressure comes off. You'll find it easier to talk about things. And uh, rather just trying to be too direct and being told here just to uh, not scratch around the houses, but just have a nice way of going to approach things here. And I think that's what's going to help you. All righty. And the color green with this I've just seen here as well. Um, is sometimes I know you get very disappointed, very disappointed in people in situations thinking, what am I putting up with, with what isn't right, what isn't true? Um, but I think you're going to find your way through this. Yeah. OK. All righty. Uh, right. Um, Suzanne says, uh, orange love, please. Orange love, please. Suzanne, Suzanne, Suzanne. Um, Suzanne, what I'd like to say to you here is, is um, where, where love is concerned, um, you, you deserve this. You deserve this. I know you can say it to everybody, but you, you really do. You really do deserve having a big heart in your life as much as a burger. So hearts, burgers, hearts, burgers. Maybe you meet him at a restaurant. Burger King. Yes, I shouldn't say that live on TV. <laughs> Fast food place. Yes, one of these places. Anyway, like that. And what I'm being shown to you here is to say to you, I think you're going to find this to be a very um, interesting time to come through for you. Um, and if I looked at what love is going to feel and just hearing from the spirit world here, uh, did you know someone called, do you understand the name Patrick, please? Patrick, I'm hearing this name very clearly. Uh, I'm not sure where this is from, from them or what's going to what's gonna be come up in front for you. But I feel though, Suzanne, um, it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, in fact, I'll just look at the cards of this. I just get a lot of information about this. Let's go to the left on this and see what's coming up. Um, you're going to find love. You're going to find love. But there's been a lot of pressures around this. Whoa, there's been pressure, pressure, pressure. The difficulties, the stresses. It's almost like trying to keep people happy. And it also may be a relationship which is at a distance, you know, like over the water or something like that, um, further away from you. Yeah. But uh, it could work out, though. I'm pretty sure it could work out. Um, Yes, okay, uh, these people coming through saying thank you for their readings. Thanks, mate, and uh, thank you, Bill. You're very very welcome. Um, uh, Mad, Mad, Maddy, you missed the talk. Oh my goodness, well, it's gonna go up onto YouTube. So if you go onto my website, then if you go onto YouTube, it should also go up onto Facebook probably next couple of days, and you'll be able to see it there. And basically, um, uh basically you'll be able to rewatch and uh see all the bit there about the talk about astrology especially yeah um astrology happenings with shanidia hello 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 uh i think i've missed you out on a couple of times just basically because it's uh, uh the stream just got so overloaded with everybody um but it's very nice to meet a and very nice to meet a fellow astrologer so uh color purple color purple what do i need to say here um Right. OK, Let, let's have a look here. Right. First thing I'd like to say to you here is, is I feel that the next. Next few months in front of you, would you understand the way or the style or approach that you're going to come to your work um, is, is something that you wish to where you wish to change? And uh, it's almost like you're updating yourself, upgrading, um, approaching life from a slightly different angle, wanting to, um, um, yeah, show and get the interest into this. I feel you're going to have to bombard everybody with information before they go, oh, now I understand. Now I understand what you mean. But beforehand, they're going, huh? <laughs> so just do with astrology. Mercury's doing this. Jupiter's doing that. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, I hope you have a nice day. Yes, out there. Um, but yes, I, I understand what you mean. Uh, I do feel this. But I feel that uh, your situation around you is going to be good. You're going to be doing a lot of work 
from a very local place. Whether this is your house or somewhere which is going to be very meanable for you, you're not just going to be doing astrology. You're going to be doing a lot of meditation stuff, getting people into circles. Um, I also pick up here as well. Um, you've got a very, they're telling me you've got a very nice voice and to use this to bring harmony to people. Um, and I, I feel here too, uh, despite losses of a guy in the past here, they're telling me loss of a guy relationship with some things happened here in the past. They're telling me here too to say it's like you're finding your new feet. And I think this look, looks good as well. And there may be two smaller ones around you or uh, two people who are very close to you or two smaller ones and two children. And uh, but it all looks good there or even two pets, whatever. But I just hear two. Um, I'm balancing here. I want to go for the middle on this lot here. And let's have a little look here. Right. Um, there's um, uh, you're going to have a very busy January, very busy, very time here. Yep, you're going to be earning money, but you're coming to life from a new approach. Um, you're going to be earning loads of money. You're going to be doing very, very well, very, very well here. And it's going to bring you, it's funny here, isn't it? Because you would think you want to come life from a new direction. You want to put all this information out there. It all looks good. And yet everybody, want, everybody wants is the old stuff. The stuff you don't really want to go to. <laughs> yeah, I want to get this new stuff on the go, but no. Sorry, no, it's not going to work quite that way. It'll be, it'll be a bit bit different here, but uh, there we go. Um, yes, but good luck to you, but you'll definitely be busy. Right. And uh, Marnik says, ah, the tracks was very good. Right. Uh, Charlie Bear says, thank you, lovely message. Um, ah, yes, let's, uh, ah, Maria, I missed you too. Don't worry, I'll get round to you. Uh, let's do this. Um, Madeline, Mad Maddie, wonderful lady. Um, Colour Pink Angel would love you can tell me something general. I hope everything is fine. Big hug. Big hug back to you. Big, big, big hug. All right. So let's have a look. Uh, so first of all, what do I need to tell you here? I pick up here. Right. Okay. This is really, 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 really interesting. Um, would you understand Lily? You understand Lily. Now, Lily... I've got a relative of Lily or the, the spirits of Lily coming through for you to tell me here, would you understand here that you have been thinking or wanting to embrace a little bit more spiritual stuff yourself, wanting to open up, wanting to engage, doing more stuff spiritually for you. And I think if you did, it would be amazing. You would be so, so happy. I think you surprise yourself just how good you would do. I also pick up with this as well here. They're saying to me here, um, the next the next two years around you are going to be such a massive change that you'll look back at your older self and said, okay, okay, you did well, but now you've grown and you're going to grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but you're going to take your own power on this. But it would not surprise me if you were to step into doing something with colours there's, there's a spiritual side to do with this, along with any other work you wanted to go and do. But they're, they're really hot on this. They're really hot. And I'm hearing this from the spirits of Lily, who's psychic. And I also want to tell you that maybe she's been saying this to you as well. And I just want to say to you, this is good. And also here, the bruising of your heart, the upset you had emotionally to do with the past here. They're just experiences that are leading you down the right way, leading to the right path for you to find happiness. And you will do. Right, um, let's have a look here. Three piles of cards. I'm going to go to the right on this one. Uh, Maddie, let's have a look. Uh, Maddie, I say transition and change. You're going through this now. It's like uh, sometimes it's, it's difficult to understand it, though, isn't it? But you, you're going to earn more money, though. You're going to earn a lot more. You're going to be very successful, but you are going to realize what power you are stepping into. Fantastic. I think you'll be amazing. All right. Uh, Maria, I do apologise missing you there. I, I try very hard to see the fine line here, but uh, good. Alrighty, so uh, I don't know if you had a question or not, but uh, in fact, I answered it earlier on. Yeah, Maria, I answered it earlier on. Yes, I did. I said here that um, you're going to have to steer away a little bit. Um, be careful how you work with or um, give too much communication to other people. I remember this now. Yeah, 
Uh, just be careful there about communication you give to other people thinking here, oh, they're my friends, they're going to help me and they're going to help me build my spiritual life. La, da, da. They like it until you grow stronger. Then they're not going to like it. And also, the important thing I pick up here for you, Maria, is be the individual in this. Don't, um, if you get into partnerships, make sure that it's individualized. You're two different people doing two different things. You always need to have your own power. And someone's telling me here, you know this and you know that if you go back into old ways of uh, working, thinking things like this with other people, it's just going to go wrong. Uh, you're far better off if you can to work by yourself. Now, guys, uh, which is almost almost there, bring us to the end here. Now, if any of you would like to, because we're talking about Santa boobs, Santa boobs, which is the female version of Santa. Uh, if you guys, anyone would like to show you in a photograph, do anything like this of themselves wearing a Santa hat. Um, yes, then that would be absolutely wonderful. Um, right. OK. And uh, yes, that, that'd be lovely. So um, boomers do that. That'd be magic. Oh, just... Uh, just landed in Spain. Oh we well, just go through arrivals and just see this. Oh my goodness! In that case, if you're doing that, I'll do this. I'll do this for you quickly. Let's see what. Let's see what comes up here. Um, good evening to you lot. And uh, she says, general reading, please. The color red. Okay, just to get this vibe through. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, let's see where this goes. There's also because uh, Miriam, what I'm hearing here, you're going to get some money. And what's important is this stay silent. This stay silent. You're going to get money for a venture you want to go and do. And it's for you to work by yourself. Don't bring it in with other people. It's going to go wrong. It's going to go wrong here. And uh, right. OK. Um, let's just, just go and do a little three card spread here and see what comes up. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Maddie, good. I'm glad you could read that because you see that there. Let's go for... Lottie, let's go for the middle pile. Um, hold on to your money. Not hold on to your money. You'll be earning money, but hold on to it. Good ideas there. You're going to, um, partnership-wise, relationship-wise, it's going to go very well. But something has to come to a halt. Um, yeah, you've got to hold on to your money because there's a change coming ahead. And I think it's a planned change. Planned change, you'll go through, though. But um, for a little while, you're going to be, unsure where you're going how you're going to motivate things how you how things are going to move but um you'll do it though and you'll do it just fine good 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 uh right that that's lovely thank you very much and uh guys it brings us to the end but uh, this is um I've, I've got a great i just want to say to you guys i've got a lovely christmas present for you next year yes my gift to you is monday shows throughout the rest of of next year at least monday shows that's my gift to you because i love doing this and thank you so much for joining me to do this it's so much fun i get so much entertainment out of doing it love doing the readings love this job and if any of you would like a one-to-one -one reading more in-depth one-to-one reading just give me a tingle and uh festive tingle if you want to and uh yes i'll be i'll be happy to help but in the meantime guys um please by all means go and read over read over there the um uh, the, the astrology forecast and maybe that would that would there would help you especially with the Mercury aspect. There, you guys. Uh, Roberta, sorry, I've just missed you there. Uh, it's right at the end of the show. Um, but one thing, okay, just to tune in to you, Roberta, just to say to you here is I feel, Roberta, <coughs> you can choose to get involved with arguments, or you can choose, or you can choose to step away from them. Um, yes, Roberta, just take care there. Just take care. Don't get it. Don't get to get into battles that you want to get into. Don't get into battles being drawn into. Stay well out. Well, out. that's what I'm hearing about for you, Roberta. And also here, there's um, uh, yes, there's something very, very nice. Something very nice. There's a spiritual. There's a little bit of spiritual awakening come up around you as well. I think you're going to love it. Right. OK. Uh, right. Will you get soon in Spain or online? Yep. Yep, either doing that. Deanne says, hearts and burgers. Absolutely. Hearts and burgers to you guys. Love you guys loads. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Catch my um, Facebook uh, posts every day on the uh, lunar, um, lunar cycles. And uh, they're writing a forecast about what the moon is doing, plus the planets, just to help you guys a lot. Thoroughly enjoy doing it. And if you like reading it, please share it. And uh, alrighty, yes. 
<laughs> Roberta, Claire, this one. Just watch those arguments. You get involved. You don't need to get involved in some. Uh, stay away. Don't be the master on this thinking I can sort this out. Step away. Step away. All right, you guys. Um, have a wonderful time. It's been such a pleasure sharing the show with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yes, let's get some wonderful, let's get into festive gear, shall we? No matter what people say, no matter what people do, go and be yourselves, go and love, go and live, go and laugh. And most of all, be yourself. And I so look forward to seeing you next week. In the meantime, guys, take care. Hearts and burgers. Oops, there we go, on then. So that was cool. <laughs>